Hello, welcome to Exotic Gardening UK, you watch Chris Weekly, and in this week's episode we're going to talk more about gunneras. So I've made several videos on these amazing plants, these gunneras like the one behind me, and most recently I made a video on why we thought we'd been growing gunnera manicata the last hundred or so years, but in fact, more likely than not, it's a different plant, a gunnera hybrid, gunnera cryptica. And this video left a few people confused and not everybody agreeing with that fact. And I think maybe perhaps it was a way I delivered the information. So I'm going to sort of break it down a little bit further in this quick video. And if you want to see what I'm talking about in terms of differences between Gunnera, Cryptica, Manicata and Tinctoria, then you can check out the previous video. I'll do a link in the top corner and in the description below. But if you're watching this video now and you're wanting to know the differences, very, very quickly, Gunnera tinctoria is the hardiest of the three types that you can grow in the UK. And it grows big, but not huge. Gunnera manicata is a classic one that we all thought had been growing until recently because with studies we've found actually manicata and tinctoria have hybridized over the last hundred or so years since it's been introduced to the UK and we actually are growing the hybrid Gunnera cryptica. So a lot of people are thinking when I was talking about this in my last video I was saying that every type of Gunnera is Gunnera cryptica and there was no other types growing in the UK. Well obviously that's not the case. There are true Gunnera tinctorias and these are the ones with large leaves but not super huge leaves that you can very often get from a garden centre, although they are always mislabeled as Gunnera manicata, just to add to the confusion. And then everything else is pretty much Gunnera cryptica. So we've got Gunnera tinctoria, Gunnera cryptica, and cryptica is the hybrid between manicata and tinctoria, and there's lots of different variations between those. You've got some that are a bit more like tinctoria, and you've got more that are more like the original Gunnera manicata with the absolute huge leaves, like the specimen behind me, which has absolutely huge leaves. We've got a leaf up there, which is easily, easily over eight foot tall. In fact, I'm going to measure that later, because I think it's approaching 10 foot tall, that is absolutely huge. And this is Gunnera cryptica. I will put a photograph on the screen now, side by side, so you can see cryptica, Manicata and also Tinctoria. So you can see what these look like in a photograph form. I've got the pictures of the true Manicata from Brazil. These are Brazilian specimens, a Brazilian photograph of a Brazilian Gunnera Manicata in habitat. The Cryptica is the one behind me and the Tinctoria is ones from further down the garden. And you can see, obviously, they look similar but they have some differences, which we've talked about in the previous video. We've also got some rarer types of Gunnera. You get the really tiny leaved specimen species, and you get some other ones like Magnifica as well. So there's lots of different types of Gunneras, but they are pretty rare plants in the UK and Europe. You only get them from specialist nurseries and individual growers that collect these you know, less hardy, in fact, pretty tender types of Gunnera. The only hardy ones in the UK, like I said, are Tinctoria, Cryptica and Manicata is hardy in many places. So what happened then was the Gunnera Manicata, the true ones that initially came across, died out when we had exceptionally cold winters. But the offspring that looks almost identical, the Crypticas, they were hardier, more robust and they survived to this day. And the ones now that we grow as Manicata are truly the hybrid Tinctoria, which is Gunnera cryptica. And I want to sort of explain this in another way, given another example that many people might be aware of in the animal world here in the UK, and that is comparing it to the Scottish wildcat, which is, I think, I want to say, I think it's the rarest native mammal in the UK. And the reason, one of the reasons why it's so, so rare is because it is bred with the domestic cat. Domestic cats and Scottish wildcats are bred and the offspring, in many cases, look almost identical to the Scottish wildcats. And they've continued this 
over you know many many years so it's very very difficult to find true wild Scottish wildcats here in the UK in Scotland so the Scottish wildcat with DNA testing has actually been found to be a hybrid or it's crossbred with the domestic cat and it's very very difficult it's very rare to find a true Scottish wildcat which doesn't have any domestic cat DNA in it so this is similar to when we're talking about cryptica cryptica and most of the wildcats in Scotland are actually hybrids of two other species in terms of the cats it's Scottish wildcat crossed with domestic cat in terms of gunners it is tinctoria crossed with manicata and the hybrid of this in gunners is this huge plant this gunner cryptica that we see behind me that looks very very similar very similar to gunner manicata and if you see any footage or if you're lucky enough to see in person of a Scottish wildcat or you think it's a Scottish wildcat almost certainly it'll have some domestic cat DNA in it you can't truly call it a Scottish wildcat hopefully that comparison sort of gives you some better understanding of what I'm trying to say here so I'm not trying to say people don't grow big leaf gunners and that everything's a tinctoria or everything's a cryptica and what I'm saying is, yes, we still have some tinctorias, but most are the hybrid between tinctoria and manicata. And in most cases, it's a big plant like this that we call Gunnera cryptica. Now, if you just want to just call it something else, you want to call it a nice big green plant, then that's what it is. And if people ask what it is in the garden and show, you could just refer to it as Gunnera because it is a Gunnera. You don't have to go down to species level. So hopefully that helps clear up my last video a little bit. I'm sure some people will argue that it's uh, that they're growing Gunner manicatas, um, which is fine. There's a small chance some people could be growing manicatas if they got it direct from Brazil, but they've had it from the nurseries that have grown it year and year from stock from the UK. Then almost certainly it won't be the case. Thank you for watching this edition of Exotic Ghani UK. Join me next week where I'll be doing more in the garden.